Ah, good evening, Vector Vest. Ryan here, and welcome to the channel. Now, I'm just going to start off like this. If I put you on ARM over the last two months, I've done shorts on it, I've done well, one video solely on ARM, a couple other 6 p.m. videos talking about ARM and various subjects. Now, if I did put you on ARM and you've seen it up today, I did a short on it this morning, up 26%, saying has more upside potential. And now at the time of this recording, it is up over 50%. So if I've helped you make some money, go ahead and put it in the comment section. Give me a one if I helped you make some money. Now, if you're new to the channel, right, this is the big thing. Go back two months ago on the channel. You'll see the video for ARM there. As tonight's presentation, I will not cover the same information. This morning, I did a lot of research, and I see great potential for ARM going forward. Now we will dive into the earnings report a little bit, but I really just want to focus on the information that it came across of in this morning's research. In addition to that, we will go ahead and jump into the VectorVest 7 software and let you know what our proprietary indicators are telling you about this position. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we can see the article here, ARM stock explodes 50% higher as company proves itself as an early AI winner. Now, as we dive into the article here, we see that a big portion of the company itself relies on royalty revenue. Now, that being said, you can see right here is the primary driver of profit. And look, the revenue grew 11% just over the last quarter. Now, if we take a look at this statement here, royalties are the wonderful part of this financial model with margins that are unheard of in other legal endeavors. Now, other than just royalties, this company depends a lot on licensing. We can see the license revenue was up 18% against difficult comparisons. Now, the business is poised to grow materially again in the current quarter. Now, also highlighted in this article, the company's progress with its latest generation ARM V9 architecture, which is becoming a greater part of royalty revenue. Now, this company makes a lot of money and is profitable also has a lot of exposure to AI itself. All right, now the next two to three minutes is gonna be the most important part of the entire video. So if you already left, well, you're lost. So if you're here, I'm gonna show you how to make money and why I'm a big believer in ARM. Now, like I said this morning, I watched a lot of videos on super chips, data centers, and let's be honest, a lot of that information had to do with NVIDIA. Well, now let me paint the picture for you. Now, as we see here, NVIDIA CEO explains how AI chips could save the future of data centers, claims NVIDIA's new Grace Hopper super chip. That's right, that's the H100 series and has caused a stir between United States and China. Now the Grace Hopper super chip is what Nvidia is really riding on. That is the momentum behind AI right now is these new effective super chips that are going into data centers. Now when I was watching the videos this morning, I actually noticed something. That ARM architecture is utilized when it comes to these chips. As you saw in the article I just presented to you, look, built on ARM's recently introduced V9 architecture. That is the one key here that we need to focus on. This V9 architecture is so powerful that it's putting x86 out of the picture, which being its biggest competitor right now. And Nvidia has gone all in when it comes to ARM architecture going forward. Now here you can see I did a simple Google search on what is Nvidia's best super chip. Well, the H100 was its most powerful chip. As you can see here, back on November 13th, 2023, Nvidia is introducing a new top of the line chip for AI work, the HGX H200. Now, before I got all warm and fuzzy about ARM this morning, other than the phenomenal earnings, I wanted to make sure that the ARM-based architecture will be in NVIDIA's new H200 chip. And you can see right here, that has been confirmed. This is one of the biggest reasons why I believe the ARM architecture and the stock itself is gonna ride on the tail coat of NVIDIA for major profits going forward. Now, you might be wondering why I've got these five stocks up. Well, let me paint the picture for you. Now, now this being said here, we already know the partnership between NVIDIA and ARM itself, so both of these up today. Now SoftBank Corp, the reason why it's in here is because they actually own 90% of outstanding shares. And you can see it's riding off that tail coat of the momentum from ARM Holdings itself up 22%. So a big mover here. So if you want a cheaper way to play ARM Holdings, SoftBank is not a bad way to go. Now that being said here, I also have AMD, and if you've been watching the channel here, big believer in this company. However, they are a competitor along with Intel. If you remember before, I mentioned something called an x86 processor. That is actually the biggest competitor to ARM itself. Well, AMD and Intel, they are the ones behind the x86. You can see they are both down today. 
So good news for ARM is bad news for AMD and Intel. So with that out of the way, let's focus on ARM itself here. You can see up 53% today, huge move for the company. It's currently trading at $118. Now this is where my concern is that we only value at $28. However, I do see the potential with this company going forward. So I'm not too concerned about that. However, if you are more conservative or a value investor, this may not be the position for you. Now, if we take a look here, RV and RS, just right at the threshold when it comes to relative value. If you're new to the channel, these are our fundamental indicators. RV looks at long-term price appreciation potential, while RS simply looks at the company's safety and an indicator of risk. Now, RS does take into consideration the longevity of this company, and the company just went public not too long ago. So at no surprise, RS is below one right now. However, look at RT. The highest rating you can possibly get, it is at 2.00. Now, we've seen this parabolic move right now when it comes to this company. That's why I would suggest waiting for the dust to settle. I like to let the stock come to me, not chase after the stock. Now, as happy as I am with ARM jumping up $41, I was actually looking at leap calls around the 105 strike yesterday and the day before. Um, however, those calls are very expensive right now with this huge move. So again, I'm gonna let the dust settle before I jump into this position. Now, this all being said here, it does have a buy rating in our master indicator right now with overall value, safety, and timing sits at 1.44%. Now let's take a look at its forecasted data here. Its growth rate and earnings, phenomenal, 39%. Its forecasted earnings per share is positive and for an AI company to be profitable is always key and looks great for investors going forward. Now the other thing I did wanna take a look at here was its sales growth rate. Look at this, 28%. So this company has great forecasted data. Now I do have Nvidia up on the chart right now. And the reason why is you see over the past five years, how Nvidia was overvalued for the most part, it only recently just became undervalued. Well, actually with today's price action at 703, it is finally overvalued once again, since we're currently valuing the position at 688 right now. But you see how fast the value grew here. I have a feeling we're gonna see the same situation play out when it comes to ARM. So finally, we're here at the chart when it comes to ARM. Now it's only been public since September. So let me give you my perspective on ARM since then. You can see it consolidating, pretty tight trading range here. However, it broke below this downward trend line and that's when I first started promoting ARM. I've always liked the company, but I let the stock come to me, not chase after the stock. And at that time, the MTI was at a very low point, so I knew I was getting a great discount on this position. Now, since then, this red dotted line here has been an upward trend line, and you can see at a level of support here with several touches leading up to yesterday's earnings, and here you see the big move. Now, ideally, I would like to see, and not surprised if I see ARM come back down closer to $80 at some point. I have a feeling this will be market-driven and potentially what happens with the interest rates and the Federal Reserve going into later this year. Now down below you can see I've got the forecasted data here. Earnings per share on the rise since its IPO along with sales growth rate and the growth rate in earnings. Just looking at the growth rate alone here, you can see it's doubled since its IPO in just the last few months. All right, now those for you still holding on to ARM right now, what do you do? Now my only bull case going into the short term is that Nvidia's earnings is just a few weeks away and I don't see the semiconductor space taking a breather until after that earnings report. However, until then, I would like to use a tight moving average, some kind of trailing stop, because protecting profits is always key. You don't wanna see a gainer like this one get away from you. Now, if you found this video informative, make sure you leave some comments in the section here. If there's something that I missed, always, always, always don't forget to put it in the comments. Here at BV Nation, we like to help each other so that way we can make money. Now, if you found this video informative, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, so that way I'll continue to put out content just like this. Hey, VV Nation, Glenn Tompkins here. Did you miss out on the Tampa two-day investment seminar? Well, right now you can get access to the live recording from this event for only $195. That's right, folks, $195. You can get access to all the great presentations from instructors like Steve Chap, Jerry D'Ambrosio, Jim Penner, Ron Wheeler, and yours truly. Folks, you just need to go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash replay 24. You need to do that right now.